What's going on, SML? It is SML Countdown. We're back right before the playoffs, actually, and I don't think we even have a playoff topic, so maybe we'll have to ad-lib something in here. Um, but what's going on? we got Straw, we've got AJ, and then we've got a special guest picker that we'll introduce when we get to the, uh, the second iteration of Name the OC. But what's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? Bryce straw made it after that game we just had. I, I didn't think uh didn't think you'd want to record right away, but Oh man, you know, it's one of those one of those Madden things. Madden has these Madden days where it just feels like you're like, ah oh, yeah. Alright, I see where this is going. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you heard uh legally talking, but you need to stop blaming Madden. You can't do that. <laughs> Alright. So we'll go into the we'll go into the first topic and um our first first topic is some of these yo-yo teams or, or like I've called them in the past rubber band teams where you've got guys like Woods, AJ Filthy. They come out on fire one season. Woods even wins a Super Bowl. And then next thing you know, he's picking top five. Um, and it's not just Woods this year. I mean, we've seen it. Like I said, AJ's been a playoff team, but you've picked what? Top 10 twice now. Oh, so he's but then been in the playoffs twice. Um, filthy. He was went from being, you know, the next big thing which maybe that's part of the curse, but he's been labeled the next big thing. Last season, I had his pick. It was 12. He almost ended up with a bad pick this year. He kind of turned it around at the end. And that's kind of more of that yo-yo thing. What do you think kind of causes that straw? Um, I mean, we've talked about this before, but I think it starts with the uh, amount that the SML and SML players uh like look into each other, right? Like everybody's up on what you're doing, on you know how you're trying to do it, on how you're trying to sort of build your team and what plays you like and things like that. Um, and so the first thing is like, obviously if you can't uh, uh, adjust or switch it up, like people are gonna, gonna uh, sort of lock onto you. Um, and then I think from that, like, so you have a good season, you make it to the playoffs, you were doing really well. Uh, people are trying to find a way to beat you. Then next thing you know, like, next season people are beating you and you look up and no one's really paying attention you're trying to figure out like what you're doing what you're doing wrong all these sorts of things you might come out now the following season with some new plays some new things that you're doing switching it up and i think that cycle kind of repeats itself sometimes um so i i mean you know i i think the like we've said the sml has a lot of good people uh everybody's paying attention you got to keep it switched up or or you will get caught in a funk I mean, and I, I think if you don't switch it up, you, you might stay at the bottom. But, you know, we got a lot of people who switch it up, make some good things happen. Uh, you just got to keep it going or else uh, you'll get locked on. And, and next thing you know, you're picking top 10. All right, AJ, you're, you're one of those teams, like we mentioned. What do you, what do you think it is? Obviously, uh, you haven't figured it quite out yet because you're four wins this season. Yeah, so it's, it, it's kind of hard to explain because I've never had really this – kind of issue, consistency issue before but, but that's what it is is consistency it's uh you know, a lot of it has to do with the competition you know i think i got i think i got seven or eight games where i lost on the last drive of the game or the last you know it's a it's a one possession game you know even if you win half of those you know you're kind of you're kind of still in the mix um so not being able to win close games definitely a reason uh, for that and that comes down to consistency um i mean Outside of that, I, I I don't really have a great answer. Um, I mean, some of that, some of the, I'm kind of a player. I play a little bit on momentum. If I start the game out real strong, I tend to play smarter and a little bit more in my element versus if I don't. So some of that's just you know same same with the season. If I start the season off like zero and two, like I feel like I get in my head a little bit, um, and that carries in through all the games too. Um, so some of that's like what Straw said. You get in your head a little bit. You're like, oh, man, wonder if people are catching on to what I'm doing. I've switched playbooks three times a cycle. Uh, and that may be some of my issue, uh, some overthinking of things. Uh, but, I mean, that's – it's at the, in the bottom line, it's a consistency thing at the end of the day. Yeah, I think you might be onto something with the – you get in your own head because, you know, as you start to kind of snowball and you see it coming, it just gets worse and worse, and then the new season starts and – if you start off hot with a you know a win or two, then maybe you get out of that and you can kind of play your game again. I also wondered how much is um, strength of schedule. You know, forget just the you know the different conferences. I mean, if you get the AFC East, you're bound to have a much better season, at least four games. 
than you do if you play the AFC West, right? So I think some of that may matter. And then if you get, you know, I know it's what four games, four games difference for the uh, what it, first place schedule, second place, all that. But that's a big deal. I mean, four games. You're talking about you either have nine wins or you have five wins if you end up with a really bad four games. So I, I think that could be some of it. You see a guy like Woods win the Super Bowl, then he gets first place schedule, and then he falls off to a bottom five team, and then he plays that fourth place schedule, and now he's he's back in the playoffs. But I mean, still to get to the Super Bowl, he had to go through good teams. So I don't know if that's entirely the answer, but there's definitely <laughs> something going on this year because it seems like a lot more than normal. All right. Sure. Um, so <clears throat> talking about the playoffs and, and the season ending, I'm going to skip our uh, our second topic and go right to the third one. But we've heard Prime talk about it. He thinks the game's coded to have injuries in the last couple weeks. Um, it And it very may, very may well be because he had uh, AR go down. Somebody else went down from another game. We've seen B. John Robinson go down. Straw today, you had uh, Tomlinson go down. He left the game. Um, do you guys think there's something to it, like it is coded to maybe happen more frequently, or, or is it just we notice it more when it's a big team going into the playoffs? AJ? I 100% believe that they are – and maybe maybe it's coded that way because at the end of the NFL season, it's a gauntlet. You know, it's the guys have been through 16 games. They're tired. They're beat up. I think it's coded that way. I really do. I mean, my two playoff appearances this this cycle, I haven't even had my quarterback. And he wasn't injured mid-season or beginning of season. He was injured in the final two games of the season. Um, Primer is another example. I, I lost like three guys the last game of the season. Um, I don't think it's any coincidence, personally. I mean, we saw what happened to Prime. Um, he had the one seed all, you know, he's he pretty much locked up, you know what I mean? And then he loses his QB, which is devastating, uh, even for, you know, the guy with the most Zimbardis in the league. Uh, it's going to be tough to overcome, but um, I, I 100% believe it's coded, and I think it's coded for that reason I just stated. Okay. Straw, what do you think? Coded. I definitely think it's absolutely coded. I think EA does a terrible job of trying to, like, set up scenarios that feel like real life, and so I think they want you to try to, like, find a way maybe to rest your starters or, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, thinking of that like a real NFL sort of uh, thing, and it's just – it just doesn't work well, you know, and they're not going to say anything about it because then it's another thing we're going to complain to them about fixing if we know, like, it's actually coded that way. But I think it's coded, for sure. It makes no sense. Like, it, 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 it's been so consistent um, this entire cycle. So I absolutely think it's coded. Yeah, I think it could be. I mean, we have saw, um, I think it was last cycle or the cycle before, Dan, right before the playoffs, every season would lose a, a star guy. I mean, it was – there's no doubt that he thinks it's coded because it happened to him all the time. Um, so I think, and I kind of agree with you. I was thinking about this topic today and I agree with you that EA maybe tries to make it, you know, they want the game to be a simulation and realistic. So they want you to sit your starters and, and what better way to do that than to just make sure they get injured if you don't sit them. And, you know, it'd be nice if they told you that, but they don't. So, you know, maybe something about, you know, if you play the whole season, your fatigue is higher, so you're more likely to get an injury. So maybe you want to rest the guy, but they don't tell you anything except, you know, four weeks torn labrum. So uh, with that, we'll go to our last topic. All right, we'll start with you, Straw. You got a gun to your head. You have to pick one play that's going to be run at least once on the opening drive of the game where you get shot. What play do you think is going to get called, regardless of opponent? All right, so there's a, there's a cop out answer, but I don't want to go with a cop out answer. Like I, I mean, I think we could easily, I could easily say inside zones being ran. But I, I'm going, I'm going with. I think it'd be ran first play, no matter who it is. Ah, I gotta go with the tight end angle. Uh, okay. the the uh, that angle where uh, everybody loves using that uh, play where the, the running back does that little angle route. I, I think that's getting called first first drive. If it's a drive that that's going all mm -hmm. the way, uh, you know, not three and out. I, I think that's being ran in the in the drive. All right, now AJ, no cheating. I've seen your defense. I don't want you saying you know extra point kick. So what what play is getting run on the first drive if if you're playing? Uh, it's going to be mesh spot. That was by easy. Pick. Yep. Easy. It's either mesh spot or verts, but I mean, there's a bunch of different verts, but it's, it's, it's gotta be mesh spot. Everybody runs mesh spot. Yeah. That's uh, one I've seen in primer. I think if I played 17 games this season in primer, 15 of them, that was within the first 10 plays. 
guaranteed. Um, <laughs> Sometimes twice knows. in the first ten plays. So. Yeah, that's why we switched down to one uh, one play call limit. So primers, yeah. primers, a one play call limit because mesh spot was used whatever number we put up there. So yeah, that would have been my pick. Uh, I think I think Straw's right. I think inside zone would have been the easy call. Um, the problem is if you played Matt, you might not see it, and then you're in trouble. So yeah, we, we <laughs> you don't know who that opponent was going to be. Mesh spot, we made though, a kind of that, opponent, you're going to see it. Yeah. All right. So that's our uh our topics for today. Let's go to our top plays. And our top <laughs> plays this time. I'll start with mine this week. And my top play was actually Dan. I don't know if he had, you know, a seizure here or what happened, but the old man's got some stick skills if he did that intentionally. You see see him that's, there's no spin move. It looked like he almost did it where you know if you rotate the stick, it'll actually do a spin move. So it, it didn't look like a circle button. That looked like uh, he may have actually done that. So my top pick is going to go to Dan. Uh, Straw, who's your top play? Uh, and I would love to have seen Dan's controller, his hand, when he did that. I'd love to see what that looked like. But I'm going with AJ here uh, to win the game. Nice little play here. Show us some love to AJ. I know the season hasn't been what you wanted, but this was a – what what a what a way to sit, read, and and win the game uh, with a with a great pass to Jay Jettis. Um, this takes a lot of patience, a lot of trust, then getting it uh, sort of uh, right there between the defenders and being able to get into the end zone as time's expiring. Good stuff. And that's KP. That's not a a team that's not going to be in the playoffs either. That was a that was a hell of a play. My favorite. My favorite was JJ spiking the ball in that guy's face to win the game. I, I don't know. Something about that was really satisfying. I'm not going to watch it one more <laughs> oh, time. And everybody's got to hear you, too. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, that right, was a AJ, fun one. So, if you're not your top play, what is your top play? I got this one. I think Bomber clipped it. There's was a doink off the helmet, and then he caught it. And I, I just thought that was an interesting play. Usually, Usually, when one player... When a when a ball deflects, everybody on the team has center block hands after that. Like nobody yeah. can catch anything, but not this one. I don't know if he's got some kind of tip drill or whatever. I don't even know if that's an ability for wide receivers, but I thought that was a fun play. Yeah, you occasionally also, see these tips on the defense, but I don't think I've ever seen one on the offense this season. Yeah, that definitely triggered Don. That may be why he's retiring. I don't know. <laughs> That'll do it. All right, so that's been our <laughs> top plays. Uh, make sure you guys vote on which one you think is the top play in the comments. And now for what I think has become everybody's favorite segment of the show, name the OC. And we've got our special guest, <laughs> Coop, is on with us. Coop, how's it going? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, going all right? All right. I was hoping you didn't fall asleep listening to us for the last, you know, 15 minutes or so. But Coop's here, so we're I gonna... mean, like... You okay. talked about uh, EA like programming simulation stuff into the game, so uh, I mean, like your your mind's working overtime for that. So uh, yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna go round one, and we'll let you coop. We're gonna let you uh, go first on this one, AJ. Who's our round one OC? Coop, you know the rules, right? I'm just gonna read off the plays. You're picking. I'm one of these four, right? Yep, one of these four is going to be the correct answer. So we got round one. We have single back dice slot, HB power G, shotgun bunch, read option, strong H wing, F trail, single back ace, half back blunt dive, gun tight Y off flanker spot, I form slot, full back flare, gun tight Y off flood. And we got the choices of Dan, Monty, Filthy, and Dom. All right. Coop, you so got what first you pick. Picking, Coop? First one. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch it up from what I actually wrote down. I'm going to go with Dan on this one. Dan, okay. How about you, Straw? I'm going with, uh, I'm going with Monty. Okay. Division, division rival may know something here. What about you, Bomber? All right. So I'm looking at it. I see a read option. I think that knocks out Dom. His quarterback 68 speed. <laughs> uh filthy runs with the quarterback he's one of the top uh quarterback runners but i don't think i don't really see enough gun there for it to be filthy i don't think monty he got rid of kyler Murray. i'm gonna go with dan and 87 speed um trey lance i see a lot of under center runs there just the read option out of shot. i'm gonna go with dan interesting 
All right, well, the answer's Monty. Uh, well, <laughs> so Straw knows his so so opponent. Well, I, this one was kind of a hard one. I um, honestly, uh, I think Dan the Dan pick was a good one. There's a lot of under center here. Yeah, I think the read option may have been the giveaway, but Trey Lance was a good option for yeah, that I one as well. Yeah, I went for the faster quarterback, but. But. Yeah, Monty still likes to do his read options, even with that quarterback. And I was looking at it, I'm like, uh, yeah, he, he loves his under the center running the ball, but he's been kind of throwing some of those uh, little passes uh, more that he's been some, getting some confidence in that QB. See, so I should have like, went with ah, straw. He plays him twice a year. That would have been the smart Yep, one. yep. <laughs> All right, round two. <clears throat> All right, round two. I form H tight, 26 duo. Single back dudes, close bench. Gun U trips weak, Pats Y out. Pistol open, flex close, X seam. Single back Y trips, HB power G. Single back wing slot, O1 trap. Gun wing flex, offset. Red red zone, half back scissors. We got KJ, myself, Torque, and Bean. All right, all right Coop, you go first, buddy. This one's tough. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Bean on this one. All right, Straw. That pass wide out, I don't see a lot of people running that formation and that play uh, unless you have the Patriots. Mm, I'm going to go with Bean. See, I wanted to go Bean too, but everybody's going Bean. And I don't know <laughs> that red zone scissor, red zone halfback scissor, almost everyone throws that to the halfback. And I don't think he's going to throw it to Ramondre Stevenson. I'm, I'm going to go with KJ. I think I think it's KJ. Interesting. Uh, it's actually myself, and this was actually this was actually my play script against you, Bomber. So. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, I was nice. gonna say I, there's not enough play action in there. Yeah, surprisingly, <laughs> that was the first drive of the game. So, um, and I think I picked up a big gain on those two pass plays. But yeah, that was that, me. So nobody nobody gets any points. That makes that, sense. That, Scissor to, to Silvers. He's a, he's more of a receiver. Okay. Yep. Not a good start. All right. All right. So, so round three. Yeah. All right. Round three. Pistol bunch, halfback dive. Single back bunch, X nasty, H back, or HB slash. Pistol strong, 484 F flat. Single back bunch, X nasty, PA deep cross. Single back bunch, X nasty verticals. Gun doubles, Y shallow cross. Gun doubles hip, switch wide receiver drag. We got gutta, NYT, null. Or QP. Bomber, I'm going to let you go first this time. I'm going Noel. Uh, Noel likes his drags. I see that switch wide receiver drag, that Y shallow cross, <clears throat> um, the bunch with verticals. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a drag out of that one, too. I'm going to go with Noel on this one. All right, Straw. Yeah, I was either, I was thinking either. Noel. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with NYT. All right, Coop. Yeah, I'm going to go with NYT here, too. Wow. Ofer again. This was actually oh, QP. Really? This was QP. What? Yeah. And uh, I, think the, I think the two uh, the hints there were the two gun doubles. Um, but the other ones would have thrown me off. The, the, he, he, ran some, he ran three plays out of Bunch X Nasty, which I thought was, was surprising. Um, I actually like that formation. So that, that makes no, sense. I do too. It's, no. it's yeah. It's good gun plays the, out of there the, the gun doubles. When I did read that, I was like uh, QP, and then I looked back up at the other ones, and I was like, Nah, not QP. <laughs> See, I've been looking more at the plays than the formation. Maybe I need to look at the formations. All right. Yeah. Round four. All right. Half back counter weak single back single back PA slot cross pistol ace PA deep in full house normal wide PA middle. Shotgun wing slot offset drive. Shotgun inside zone. Gun tray Y flex inside post out. We got Gill, Colt, Meats, and Fig. Draw you go first this time. I'm going to go with Meats here. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Meats. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to say Colt because I'm seeing like three play action in a row. So it's somebody that wasn't paying attention. So I'll say Colt. All right, Bomber. That's the first thing that, that stuck out to me was the three in a row. But then I look, the only one I'm going to, uh, I could really kind of 
I don't think it would be. I don't think Meats would do that because, like you said, paying attention. But Fig and Gilbert aren't exactly guys that I would consider uh, pay attention much either. Um, man, that's a tough one. I initially wanted to say Colt, and then you said Colt too. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Gilbert. Wow, man, it's Meats. Wow. <laughs> It was meats. Cheesy yeah, ass nice meats. Man. Come on, man. Well, man, Come man on. It's funny you say that because I was watching meats and I'm, the first thing I realized I was like, God, this is going to be harder because he picks for off a uh, coach suggestions. Yeah, so man. that may be why. In a row. I wouldn't, I uh, wouldn't think meats would, uh, would do that. But well, then again, I don't think he was paying attention. Meats, so. He actually had his camera on and he looked like he was like looking at something else on the screen or something. And coach suggestions. Hey, doing the coaching suggestions. <laughs> I had to I had to look at the play after to figure out what he was running because coach suggestions doesn't tell you the uh the formation for whatever. Where's the reason. gameplay committee oh, wow. guy on that one? I I expected <laughs> I've been trying to follow what you say. So he, I'm he, the one not paying attention because I should have known this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that came up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round five. All right. Straw still with a narrow lead here. Wow. All right, last round. We have single back ace, half back zone week. Gun doubles offset, flanker drive. Single back deuce close, tight end angle. Single back east, verticals X cross. I form close, half back lead dive. I form close, power G. Single back wing slot offset, mesh spot. So we have two of our most called plays in this one. Yeah. I thought that was. I'm going to go with. Well, well, first you want me to go one. first? I'm going to say yeah. prime because when I played prime, the first, uh, first drive, he scored with mesh spot. And that's the last play on there. So I'm going to go with prime. Okay. Draw. I, I, I'm going to go with Bean again. All right. Coop? This was a, like a something boring like I would get out of coach suggestions when I was looking at this, uh, <laughs> this drive here. Uh, I was thinking it's either Prime or Mike. I'm going to go with Prime because of the high form close stuff. All right. Well, the answer was prime. So we've ended the game in a three-way tie, which I did not plan for as a tiebreaker. So if you guys have any ideas for a tiebreaker, feel free. Otherwise, I mean, it's 2024. I think we all just win. I don't know. Okay. You all, everybody wins. Everybody wins. <laughs> but you all, you all had only one point, though. So I'd probably say y'all all probably lost. Yeah. Uh, that, that's probably fair that we that's probably fair. all lost. <laughs> But thanks for being on, Coop. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I think we may we maybe stick with this if we can get volunteers because I, I think this one's fun to try and figure out who guys are. Uh, was that was that prime game from my game with him? I don't remember. I think it was probably. I figured it was. The last play was mesh spot when he scored. So That's funny. That's so funny yep. that you're like, man, nah, I remember that. It's a boring offense, so I was guessing prime with that. He <laughs> <laughs> He's like super conservative with his uh, offensive play call. Like, but, yeah. He's like it's a boy. Go do the primer, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, Coop. You just gotta you gotta like chuck it and throw like five picks, like me. You know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this has been uh, an episode of SML Countdown. Coop, thanks for being on, and uh, we'll see you guys. I'm guessing next season. Enjoy the playoffs. <laughs>